So, um, Katrina, now have you ever heard of the discovery of soft tissues found in dinosaur bones? Yes, I have. You have? I have. Wow, okay. Now, yes. do you remember where you'd, where you'd seen this? No, it was probably something on TV or something like that. I'm into okay. the whole um, history thing, so. You are? Yeah. Good. So what is your major? Microbiology. Really? Yes. Oh, you're the perfect person to talk to. Then. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So about science. Now, would you say science is primarily about proving things or disproving things? I would say disproving things because you want to, like, if you can find something out and then be able to, like, prove it mm -hmm. or disprove it, then you just get more knowledge. And so, like, as it progresses, I think it's definitely disproving because so many times scientists will create theories and then prove themselves wrong. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to evolution, do you think that evolution should that scientists should be skeptical of evolution? Yes, I think so. There's a lot of unknown. We don't have all the steps. We can't really create a full picture. So I think there should be more skepticism towards it. What about education then? Should, should science teachers also convey skepticism to their students? I don't think so, because it's kind of a hard concept to grasp. Um, but I think they should give them enough knowledge to create their own opinion, instead of just telling them facts. Good, good comments. All right. So I'll accept that. Now, um, you say you have heard of uh, dinosaur. Have you heard of uh, Dr. Mary Schweitzer? Was that part of not. your... I'm no, sorry? You I have, have not. not. No. Okay. But the dinosaur soft tissue was something you heard yes, of. Yes, I have heard of that. We're working on a documentary having uh -huh. to do with this topic. And um, so I'm working with another organization called the Creation Research Society. Sure. And they had some scientists go to the Hell Creek Formation in Montana. Mm -hmm and they excavated a triceratops horn mm -hmm. um, so they're looking for a significant bone or yeah. whatever and then they they excavated this horn mm -hmm. uh, they were searching for soft tissue so they took it back to their lab and uh, actually found soft tissue wow. and the location is really pretty amazing because not buried deep 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 into yeah. soils you know it's actually only like a foot down oh wow uh, from where so we have all of this documented and stuff. It's cool. But um, the whole thing is controversial. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you know much about that part yeah. of it with Dr. Schweitzer. She was, it was very controversial for her to publish on it uh -huh. because of, uh, well, the pushback, because yeah. of the implications that it would have on evolution. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Because here you have evolution saying that dinosaur bones were buried in layers that mm -hmm. are claimed to be 65 plus years old. Yeah. In this case, it was 68 million years old. Um, and yet you have these soft tissues. And we know the soft tissues, you know, what happens? Exactly. You know, they, decay, they decay rapidly. Yeah. I'm sorry, what is your major again? Microbiology. Microbiology. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the biology of cellular materials and how they decay? Um, quickly. Um, usually yeah. when something dies or passes on, that's the first thing that starts uh, decaying and breaking down. There's a lot of enzymes in the body that actually almost self-destruct. And so the cells, they're not going to implode, but they're just become filled with enzymes and the ability for any of it to like be preserved or be able to, especially with the dinosaur tissue, is outstanding and really almost odd because oh, it's, it, is odd, yes. it goes so quickly. Like even, I mean, I, like even with like the human body, it goes very fast. Uh -huh. And so given that it was found only under a foot is very different and not what it we've is. known. Right. And so I think that's really intriguing. It's also intriguing the fact that it's a horn instead of like yeah. a giant femur, which is what Mary Schweitzer was analyzing materials mm -hmm. from a large T-Rex femur. Yeah. And so you think, well, maybe in the femur, there's all this encasing material or something. Mm -hmm. But with the horn, there's... Um, Evidently, it's more vascular, so it's and that's not why it's as. Odd that there's soft tissue. I'm sorry. That's why it's odd. There's soft tissue. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have evidence of that. But what they do show is that you know soft tissues that are you can see it under a microscope where yeah. it's kind of like stretchy and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then they also have pictures of osteocytes using an electron microscope. Oh, cool. Are you familiar with osteocytes? Yeah, the, and the bone cells. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're inside, right. They help to maintain the strength of the bone, yep. I believe. Yep. And then there's these little filopodia that yep. come out of it. And so the pictures are so detailed that you can see the filopodia. That's so cool. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. So you'll be interested in our documentary then. Um, sure. I'll go ahead and give you a, you know, uh, information sheet about 
about the soft tissue discovery. What do you do? Are you a student? You're not a student? You, I am a student. You are a student? I'm a first year student, yes. You're, you're a freshman? Yes, I am a freshman. Wow, you're one of the most knowledgeable people I've talked to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a science major. I love science, so I'm kind Good. of... Where'd you go to tried, high school? I am from Maryland, actually, so I'm a ways away from home. I went to BCC High School. Okay. Yeah. So are you studying to be a scientist? A doctor, yeah, eventually. A medical doctor? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if it works out. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.